All right, welcome back to the Two Stroke Turbo Channel. It's a little cold out, I can see my breath. And if you're wondering where the shop dog Stella is, she might be sleeping in one of my cars. In fact, she's not sleeping at the current moment, but she loves sitting in my little van on my oh, polyurethane, uh, polypropylene, or whatever this heated seat cover is. She really likes that because it keeps her nice and warm. So that's Stella, that's what she's doing. We've got a little break in the weather right now. It's not pouring down rain or snow. What's going on in the shop? How are we staying warm in the shop today? Well, we got the door open, letting all my precious heat out. We'll close that. Let's work on a search and rescue vehicle, shall we? It's an old Delica. You've probably seen this on my channel before. It came in last time with a couple of issues and we had to order some parts. And so they brought it back for some parts. And you can see it's in a weird position. I've got jacks under the car and it's lifted. And I'm gonna show you what's going on. So uh, this is a four wheel drive. It's a very rough and rugged vehicle. Uh, it has um, a real four wheel drive system. In other words, a real transfer case that you can shift between two high four high, four low, and then you can lock the differentials. And the differentials have not been locking. And I diagnosed the switches on the transfer case. There's about eight of them. And in fact, we now have the switches. The wires are really brittle and they break. So each one of these switches, or six of them, I guess, not eight, six switches that go on the transfer case. This is the map of where they go in each position. They're all different. Every switch is different different length, different wire size, different connection, and they're all very fragile. They, um, and I'll show you what I mean, because they have lived almost 30 years in a harsh environment, and the wires get brittle and break, and if you're not careful, you can break them by removing them. So I made the owner procure these so that when I replace them, I can do it right. And uh, so this is the map, every one of the Switches goes in a certain position, and let's go underneath the car, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So, the reason it's up on jacks like this is because i got to drop the cross member, and the cross member holds the transfer case, but the cross member is the jacking point. So, if we get underneath the car here, I'm just going to lay down. This cross member right here holds the transmission transfer case assembly, and you can see there's a jack point here and a jack point there. I have to lower that, and I can't do that when it's on the lift, so I've supported the car with jacks, and it seems pretty sturdy. So all those switches are way up in here. On the top side of the transfer case, like the map shows you, there's six of them. One, two, three on this side, and there's one more here on the side of the transmission, I think. Transfer case, excuse me. And uh, I got to drop this down so I can get some better access. So I'm hoping to drop this down a couple inches so I can get my wrenches up there and uh, replace those and see if we can get the center diff working. So the center diff works, but only like for two or three seconds at a time. And I think it's because the switch is kicking off. We're not making good contact. So I'm going to get down and dirty just like I used to do in the old days, crawl around the concrete, even though I have a nice fancy lift here. Oh, I was going to show you something. Forgot. The reason I'm not putting the lift in a non-specified jack, well, this is a nice sturdy jack point, but if you look and follow this frame right about here, that is not solid. In fact, that's, oh, rusted through. I cannot put the, well, I can't, I mean, I could, I suppose, but I'm not going to. I don't trust the frame on these things. They tend to rust out when they get a little older. I suppose I could put it up there, but the frame is not, it's all wonky. It's not flat in any spot, so, I opted to just crawl around and use the jacks while I lower this and see if I can service this guy's car. So if you're wondering what we're doing in the shop today, that's what we're doing. Uh, also fixed the transmission kick down. Wasn't sensitive enough. He wanted more low range or more kick down for acceleration. This is a big heavy vehicle. It's got racks on top. It's got loads of gear inside. It's oversized tires, lift kit. This thing, uh, bumpers that are heavy, this thing works hard. Um, in fact, we've got some cooling issues because the radiator can't pull enough air in behind this big, nice bumper that they made. 
and we even have a three row radiator so we've got to figure out how to drill some holes uh, in these lights areas or something behind the winch to get more air to the radiator fan it's just completely not not doing it even on a cold day he says that he can get it to overheat when it's snowing outside if it's working really hard in the snow so we'll work on that next but right now let's see if we get the center lock locked and working that's the goal for today so wish me luck this is not going to be easy follow the map they say